Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we just want to do a short video on the updates coming to Linux Mint, as we always like to cover those shortly after they come out. So we have a few points this week, and a few of those will possibly be exciting, particularly for those who like LMDE, and a few other ones that are good upcoming changes and adjustments. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. This was released uh, last week. And uh, the first thing we have is regular expression searching is coming to the Nemo file search. So this means that you can do a lot of searching for files instead of just entering in a name of something, you know, like uh, thumbnails or something like that. Now you can search by regular expression patterns. So there's whole databases of what those regular expression pattern uh, systems could be. Uh, OMG Ubuntu actually had a good write up on this. Well, outside of a couple of things that seem to be a, maybe typos or something like this one here, while searching is already included in Nemo, it doesn't work on file names, only on file contents. What? Nemo searching our file contents? No, Nemo is not searching your file contents. I think that the what they were trying to say there is you could search for a simple file name, but you couldn't search for things in regular expressions. And the complexity of this is where it is. So this is definitely useful for some people who get into the more advanced ideas. So down here at the bottom of the article, though, they had a lot of clarifications. So now you can search for files. Of course, you can only always do things like what files have the word screenshot in it. That's simple. But now you can say search for sc uh, screenshots, which also contain a regular expression here, which includes file names here, which would match this with either one to eight afterwards. So it would do... Um, uh, this one here would do uh, 202504 and either uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 afterwards. So in other words, just the just the, the files that might occur in the first eight days of April, for example. Uh, you could do things only matching for .png files. You can also use things like uh, only file names starting with the word the or any file names with the followed by anything else. Else. So there's a lot of interesting things. Now, the one place that I use regular expressions quite a bit is there is some advanced search and find features that I use in LibreOffice when I am doing uh, manuscript preparation. So you can use the regular expressions to find things like line breaks and a few other special characters that are very difficult to search for otherwise. So I am vaguely familiar with uh, the regular expressions, although I typically have to look up exactly what the syntax is. But the fact this is coming to your Nemo search is a much more powerful tool, albeit one that some people may not find particularly useful because of the complexities. But for those of us that do understand what it means, at least we can utilize this as an extra search tool for your individual files. And that is an awesome change. The next thing they are highlighting is some Wayland changes here. And so they're basically working on uh, keyboard layout and input methods into uh, in Cinnamon and Wayland. So this is going to, in theory, allow you to much more easily work with the, your keyboard inputs, uh, your different types of keyboard layouts, things like that. So like when I was setting Raspberry Pi the other day, I completely forgot they default to UK English and I entered a complex password and then change my keyboard to UK or uh, to American. And then it was, it was crazy. I had to figure out how to fix that. <laughs> Not so much, I know. But anyway, <laughs> um, you can now uh, inside of Wayland and Cinnamon, they're working on that. They, they're saying they still are working on getting these patches in so you can have better in, input compatibility with Wayland on Cinnamon for uh, Asian languages and things like that is what they specifically met, uh, mentioned here. So these are all really good options. And then the, the next minor one I'm going to do, I'm going to end on the LMDE one here. Uh, they're changing how the JavaScript engine works. So the Cinnamon desktop, like a lot of desktops and a lot of things out there, is built on uh, some JavaScript frameworks. And they use the JavaScript frameworks in order to work with your applets and, and things like that inside of the Cinnamon uh, desktop environment. So if you want to have add-ons and other functions and features extending the Cinnamon desktop, well, the problem is, is in the past they've 
had. Uh, th they've kept their JavaScript versioning to match what the Cinnamon desktop was, which made it much more difficult because people who were working on applets, you had to kind of match the Cinnamon desktop versions that caused some complexities and incompatibilities and, and things like that. Additionally, if there were any issues with the JavaScript libraries, updating them in between Cinnamon releases was a lot more difficult. And so what they're doing here is they're changing all the JavaScript engines. They're matching all of the versions inside of Mozilla, which is what they're using uh, for their compatibility. And this allows them to update any flaws or issues in JavaScript on the fly without having to release a new Cinnamon version. Additionally, it matches all the JavaScript versions will be matching properly. So this is definitely more applicable for developers, but what it means for the end user of Linux Mint is that your applets might have a lot more support. More people might be more interested in creating the applets because they are following a common JavaScript method uh, that uh, is used uh, in a lot of the other programming industries. And now for the biggest change to LMDE, they are finally adding OEM support. Uh, and so what this means is if you are setting up computers to give to somebody or you're recycling your computers or you are a computer manufacturer like System76, the OEM install feature allows them to easily pre-install, or you in this case, to easily pre-install Linux Mint Debian Edition instead of having to always rely on the regular Linux Mint for those that prefer the Debian Edition over that. So this means that when you are now setting up a computer, you can install it with the OEM installation method, and this will be in LMDE 7, the next upcoming, based on the next Debian which we should see this summer. So presumably LMDE 7 will come out shortly after that release of Debian. And this now allows you to do an OEM install. And what this effectively means, if you are unaware, is you can install this to the system, but you're not setting up any usernames, language supports, or anything like that. So you just go ahead and install the OEM installation. You pass it on to the person who's going to own the computer. And the first time they turn that on, now they will set up their user accounts, their language inputs, and all those, uh, all those other features that they want. So basically, you can set up a system for the next time it is turned on, then the person can go ahead and use it. And this is an excellent thing which might give us more Linux uh, uh, companies giving us the option to in install LMDE to our computers that we purchase rather than relying on Ubuntu or the traditional Linux Mint uh, because of this OEM install. So those are the updates that uh, uh, Linux Mint has done. And so you can read about the blog post. Of course, I will have this uh, linked down below. So there is what Linux Mint is up to. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.